And we knew now, in Fairfax County, dozens of people gathered at George Mason High School for a candlelight vigil to honor back. the victims of the Florida shooting. I'm joined now by campus. Kristen and Alice Bruce. <laughs> Alice is a freshman at Washington Lake High School there in the county. Thank you both for your time and coming on with us. Alice, I want to start with you. Uh, was this your idea to go, and, and, and why are you out there tonight? Um, this was my mom's idea to go, actually. I just decided to tag along and see what this was all about. So to both of you, why, why, do you, why did you feel it was important, Kristen, to, to go out there tonight? Um, I, m number one was I was here supporting a friend who is um, a survivor of gun violence, um, that someone that both of us know, um, and uh, so here to support her. But also, I, after the events of last week, I'm just so frustrated with what's going on it, and I feel like we definitely need some common sense gun laws and I wanted Alice to come along and t just to see like she said to see what it's about to to form her own opinion about it you know with the frustration this question to both of you with the frustration that we've seen uh, since the, the shooting last Wednesday we've seen a lot of people especially high schoolers morph that frustration into action as we've seen so many demonstrations more so than we've seen from school shootings going going back to Columbine. So how do you take your frustration and, and turn it into action? Uh, this, this evening was amazing hearing from people. There was a survivor from Columbine. Um, I, in past events, they've had people from Virginia Tech. Um, but these moms are on the ground doing everything that they can to try and have people listen to them and and it and hear what they're saying. We're not trying to take away guns. We just want common sense laws so that it's harder for people to get their hands on guns. And I, it's, I just, moms get stuff done, really. That's yeah. it. Like, uh, look at MAD. Uh, well, years I, ago, that was a big thing. And I, now we have, now we have that. <laughs> I want to ask your daughter, Alice, are, are you comfortable when you go to school? Is, is something like this always in the back of your mind? Um, I'm very comfortable when I go to school. I'm never scared that anything Good. like this is going to happen to me personally. So. Okay. And one last thing for, for both of you, these protests that we saw outside of the White House today, on the one hand, there are groups that are calling for more armed people, more responsible gun owners to potentially counteract uh, bad actors. And then the other people saying, look, we just need gun control, gun reform, fewer guns altogether. Where do you both fall? I'm definitely in the more gun control, fewer guns, uh, harder to get it, less access to them. Um, that's that's my stance. <laughs> Alice, um, I agree with that. Um, I feel like we should. It's hard to trust people when they say that they will use their guns responsibly. You never know, like something could happen and they could use it irresponsibly. Well, I appreciate you both coming on to talk to us tonight. Kristen and Alice Bruce there in Fairfax County. Thanks so much for your time. Sure. So listen, there are several national demonstrations for gun control in the works over the next few months. Saturday, March 24th, students from Parkland will lead the March for Our Lives with multiple marches around the country. Friday, April 20th will be a national day of action against gun violence in schools. That's going to be held on the 19th anniversary of the Columbine school shooting. But first on March 14th, the hashtag enough national school walkout. And this one's getting a lot of attention. It's being organized by the Women's March group, and they're encouraging students, teachers, administrators, parents, and allies to walk out of school at 10 in the morning around the country. Now, we've posted about it on our WSA 9 Facebook page, and you've had a lot to say. You can vote right now at WSA9.com vote or on our WSA 9 app. Here's the question we're asking you. Should students walk out of schools in protest of U.S. gun laws? We'll be able to share that with you as we move throughout the show. First, though, Christopher weighed in on Facebook. He says, no, if you've got no right to vote, you've got no right to protest. Sadly, this generation is more coddled, entitled, and poorly educated than the millennials. Barbara says, having been a teacher for 20 years, I would support my students. In fact, I would accompany them and declare the march a field trip and lesson in civic responsibility. And then there's Justin, who says, no, 
How about gun safety and education in schools? Also, remember, children don't fully understand the Constitution, much like the rest of the country.